All right, everyone. So Stephen Jones, the Dallas Cowboys chief operating officer, went on Diana Rossini's new podcast, Scoop City, and he talked about the Dak Prescott contract situation. So here's a partial transcript from Yard Barker. I know Dak, our goal is to get him done, and he knows that. We're having conversations and with his agent, with Dak personally, both, and he's talking about Jerry Jones and myself. He knows our goal is to keep him here. He also understands the challenges. So look, if you're a Cowboys fan, we brought this up in many videos, okay? Last season was the worst case scenario, right? Because what you wanted to have happen, if you were a Cowboys fan, was to either know if Dak's the guy you want for the future or realize he's not the guy. And what ended up happening was the one that is in the middle, which is we still have no clue if he's the guy that we want going forward. Because throughout the regular season, there is no question he was one of the top QBs in the league. He was having an MVP-like year, right? He was that good. He was that good last year. The problem is the first game of the playoffs at home, him and the rest of the team looked terrible. So when you're, when you're you know, Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones and you're thinking about a contract extension, you're, you're looking at both and you're saying, wait a minute, we had another playoff failure, but also, you know, what quarterback puts up MVP numbers and then isn't even considered for an extension that next year. So the Cowboys are in a bad spot with this, right? You could argue maybe they should have done it sooner, but at the same time, you could also argue that Dak had not shown them anything that would warrant paying this big contract because he's not getting it done in the playoffs, right? So if you're the Cowboys, you may be thinking you're going to move on. And we talked about last year, the Trey Lance deal, we thought, was a perfect piece of um, negotiation, or uh, so important piece of leverage, I should say, that they wanted to have with this Dak Prescott thing, meaning they could say, hey, we got Trey Lance here. We're going to build him up for one year. And if Dak doesn't play well, you know, we're going to kind of start to, to have him be the guy here, right? And to see how good he is. Because Cowboys fans maybe would buy that, right? They'd say, look, Trey Lance has injuries concerns, but we're moving forward because Dak isn't getting it done in the playoffs. So they still have that, but I just don't know what exactly is going on with the Cowboys. They say they're going all in and they don't go all in. I don't know, right? I, you got to get CD Lamb done. You're going to have to get Michael Parsons done. You're going to have to get Dak done. It just seems like there's no real path here for them to get to where they want to go because everybody is up at once. And you really don't know if any of these guys are worth what, you know, like Michael Parsons, he's great. He's fantastic. But you're going to pay him all this money. Are you going to have a talented enough team around him to make him worth that kind of money? Right? It's not that he, of course, you have to keep him. You're not going to get rid of him. Right? You're not going to, unless you, you know, you trade him for like a bunch of stuff, but you're not going to get rid of the guy. So now you're saying, okay, if we're going to pay him, we don't want to just pay him for nothing. We want to make sure we have a good team around him while we're paying him. And then you look at CeeDee Lamb and Dak Prescott and you say, well, they're talented. So we want them with Micah, but the problem is we're still not getting the job done in the playoffs. So how much do you give Dak the deal exactly he wants because of his regular season, even though he didn't play well in the playoffs? Do you give CeeDee Lamb everything he wants, even though you're still kind of unsure of what actually happened in that playoff game? Right? He didn't look great in that playoff game. And I know the final box score may sometimes tell a different story because, you know, you get late garbage time points or late garbage time, you know, yards and late garbage time, just statistics overall. But the bottom line is anybody watching that game, nobody played well. Nobody played well for that entire game. And that is stuck, I think, in the back of the mind of Jerry Jones, of Stephen Jones, of this organization. They're saying, how can we trust anything if after an MVP season, our quarterback looked like that in that game. How can we have such a good defensive year and then the defense looks like... It wasn't that the defense wasn't good. It wasn't that they were giving up a ton of yards. The defense was horrendous in that game. CeeDee Lamb, where was his dominant wide receiver that he's going to be... that he wants to be paid like? Right? So all of these things, I think, are going through the Cowboys' head. And I'm telling you, I, they may end up getting a deal done because their pressure may just build too much and they have to get all of these deals done because the media is just going to be all over them. But if, if I was looking at this objectively, not thinking that that may be the case, I would say that the Cowboys 
are not planning on signing either Dak or CD Lamb. That's what everything here tells me, right? And I think it's important. He, he ends this quote. Let me read this one more time before the end of this video. He knows our goal is to keep him here. He also understands the challenges. He also understands challenges. That may be a little hint that they may be doing a lot of, oh, we're going to go all in. Oh, we're working with Dak, but they have no actual, you know, they, have, they just, they're basically saying, we're going to let this guy walk. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.